Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 11th, 2021. I am coming to you from my car, and you will see why here in a moment. I'm right next to a highway here, so you might hear some traffic, but um, I promise you it's worth it. I'm doing my little fall drive. I just pulled over and I was like, let me share this with everybody. So that's why everything I'm not like in my regular little spot or what have you. All right. <laughs> so a couple of things before we even get into the message here, the Archangel Gabriel seven day meditation challenge. It's done. It's up. It's over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. Now, the reason why you would want to work with Gabriel, Gabriel helps with rebirth, <laughs> having that new chapter in your life, creativity, writing, communication, speaking your truth beautifully, right? And also conception, if you are looking to do that. Now, there's that. Of course, if you want a personal reading, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I am doing Akashic Records now as well. All you have to do is just pick any of the reading offerings and make a note of that in the submission form, and I will get you all set up. Now, I whipped out these old cards the Archangel Power Tarot cards. And let's talk about that because I'm always like, well, if you're using like pure tarot, it's kind of hard to tap into angelic energy. But these were created with the intention of having angelic energy in them. So I feel like, you know, we're good. <laughs> we can use these. So as far as like sort of the generalized, like um, we call it channeling, a channeled message, but it's not really a channeled message. That would be me stepping out of my body and letting an angel talk through me. This is just a medium type thing, right? So bringing this message through, uh, I would dare say first word I'm hearing is reconnection. And I'm kind of looking at, you guys can't see yet, but I will show you the view here. Uh, that's why I'm out here <laughs> is to reconnect. And of course it's fall. They have snow coming, I guess this weekend. So I was like, I better go see those leaves before they blow away. Right? So make sure we're reconnecting. And if you feel tested, a good test, again, I know you guys, it drives you guys crazy when I say, I don't know if you can hear it or not. Genuinely, I never know if you can hear anything because <laughs> sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But if you are hearing cars go by on the road, does that bother you? Are you putting judgment around that and saying, you know, it's too distracting. I can't because it's too distracting. Those kinds of things. Again, that's just one example for a test. If you find yourself getting kind of short circuited <laughs> over the most minor things, then that's a that's a time they're saying burnout too. A lot of people are going through burnout. So it is kind of imperative for us to I guess kind of imperative isn't a thing. It's imperative for us <laughs> to sit back and give ourselves a break. All right. And to get out, get that sunshine. It's about self-care, but you know. I think a lot of us do overlook the importance of getting out into nature, all right? So make some time for that this week. I'm hearing scrambling. It, it's all the stuff we've been talking about. It's just more of it. And we have to start breaking open what we're accepting as a truth. We need, and that means about us too. What are the stories we tell ourselves? You know, I'll give you an example. I woke up this morning and I was just like overwhelmed. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got so many things on my plate. And as you guys know, I'm trying to get this book rewritten so I can start submitting to literary agents by the end of this month. And it's just, I'm very perfectionistic and a big old weirdo when I'm writing. I admit it, okay? <laughs> but like, you know, it, it's just, I'm allowing myself to get burned out. And I thought, you know what? Let me hit the road. Let me take my equipment with me and I will just figure out how to wrap my little Joby <laughs> tripod thing here around my steering wheel. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be great, you know? So it's, it's that kind of thing. See where you can cut yourself some slack here and give yourselves a break, I think is, is what we're getting at here. And mindfulness. I keep saying that, but it's a thing, right? Mindfulness. Whenever we start feeling like our emotions are running away, or we have some tough challenges coming up, things that we are concerned are, you know, a big concern right now is control. A lot of us are afraid that, you know, we're going to be forced to do things we don't want to do. Or, you know, another control mechanism is just how banking goes, the housing system, you know, all of those things that we could be in trouble for. And maybe 
you know, it's a, a no fault of our own, <laughs> right? So, or we can't access our money because the bank says, no, well, you know, we keep it for this amount of time or what have you. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, we could sit here all day with examples, but this is that sort of thing of step back, recharge, regroup, and stay steady, okay? This cannot be us running away with ourselves, I think is what they're trying to get at here. So let's get some cards. Let's see what else we can say. In case you're wondering where I'm at, I'm on, I think it's, is it State Route 67 um, between uh, Woodland Park and Cripple Creek out near Victor. Okay, so first off, we have four of Raphael, and it says, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotion. See, that's what we were just saying. You do have to kind of stop and regroup here because, you know, I mean, yeah, we're, we're getting too held up in our old patterns, okay? And it's time to break free. And a lot of those old patterns that we have, they don't even fit. That's not even how the world is now. They don't even fit into, you know, how we're supposed to show up here. But the seek out other possibilities, that one's really kicking up for me because, again, the approach that you take to your everyday life, is that the healthiest, right? Or do you just get, you know what this is, it's about routine. Do you just get so in your routine that you can't see any other way around anything, right? I think that's what we're talking about here. And there could be an offer coming. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just getting the message here. Watch closing off into your own world as well and, and not seeing everything around you. Because I, th I feel like for some of you, there are people that absolutely want to help you. But I mean, we could go down that road if you're too afraid to ask. But I think it's more than that. It might even be like trust issues. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't trust that anybody really has my back or I don't really trust that anybody cares or I don't trust that I'm good at that. I mean, on and on and on. So be ready for that. Lift your head up is what I'm hearing. Lift your head up. All right, then we have two of Gabriel. There's Gabriel showing up. Uh, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. This is definitely, I, I keep feeling this issue of trust. I don't trust anybody. I don't trust what's going on. I have to do it all on my own. And also, it's just the way I've always done it. I'm going to continue to do it that way. And that's all there is to it. You know, it is step outside of your comfort zone. Okay, it does have that kind of feeling about it. I did. I was messing with my camera. I didn't really adjust it very well. Oh, well, you guys can hear, hopefully, <laughs> what I'm saying here. We'll just, I'll perfect this. If we like this style of reading, then we can keep on. Until it gets cold and wet outside, then I'm not going outside. Okay, so the next card out here is Queen of Michael. Brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. So don't doubt yourself. Don't be sitting there saying, you know, oh, that's impossible. I can't. This is why we have to regenerate. We have to kind of pull back. And uh, that's, yeah, they're saying people go into a routine because, again, you get overwhelmed. You get burned out. I can't figure out another way to do this right now. I don't have time, right? How many of you can relate to that? Comment down below. You're just used to doing it that way. It's like, ugh, I don't want to learn a new way just yet, okay? <laughs> like, no. All right, so a time for your career rather than relationships uh, for some of you, for some of you. And yet for others, it's sort of cutting through all the nonsense in a relationship and just saying, okay, I need things to be like this. What are your needs, you know, communicating in that way? But this can be real big for some of you, like career advancement. If that's what you're into right now, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I got drawn by, in by these uh, yellow roses here, and roses indicate blessings, and it's just kind of weird because when I show you where I'm at, it's all yellow. It's all yellow aspens, <laughs> okay? So a lot of blessings through career coming in, but it won't happen if you don't believe in yourself. Okay. Now this isn't false belief. Like, you know what? I haven't put any work into learning how to be an artist. I don't study my craft. I don't practice it. And I just want to go out there and be the best that there is. Sorry, the light is shifting here. Um, I'm just going to go out there and be the best that I can be. 
you know, without any practice. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about maybe it's an old ability that you have. That's how I started Angel Souls. People used to always come to me for insight and to do readings for them. And I finally was like, well, you know, I, if I believe in myself, I can create something out of this, right? <laughs> and reach a wider audience. All right. And same thing with writing, you know, like I put writing aside for forever, have a degree in it and the whole bit. It's that sort of thing. Like pull it back out and see what you can do with it. All right. Then we have perspective. <laughs> see, we that's what this whole week is about. It's shifting our perspective. It's Archangel Shamuel, who's all about, she's known as the Archangel of love, but she's also about helping you reach your fullest potential. Okay. So it says there's a better way. Pause. Pause for reflection and insight. There's that word insight again. because so we had insightful on this card as well. Uh, dare to be different. That is wild. So they could not put it in more ways than that, that we need to take a different perspective, a different approach, try something new, step outside of the box. But at the same time, it's like taking this old talent of yours or this old um, whatever, hobby, skill, whatever you have, and breathing new life into it, taking that different approach. But you're not going to be able to take that different approach until you see it differently. <laughs> right? So again, that's why it says pause for reflection. This whole week is about going, okay, settle down, settle down. I'm going to go off and do something else. Okay. This next coming week, I think I'm going to go take in some art shows. I'm going to head up to Denver and take in some art shows. So, uh, you know, it, it's that sort of thing. Disconnect from your routine. Go try something else. Go do something new. Okay. I will tell you guys, it is wild. People are being really respectful when they go by, but <laughs> they're definitely looking at my car like, what are those cards? What is she doing? And I think that's interesting. And I want to comment on this. I think I've said it a million times about how, you know, all of a sudden there is this interest in tarot. And I think we definitely are in those times where people are wanting answers and reaching for anything that's sort of tried and true. Whatever's been around for the longest, that's what they're reaching for. <laughs> All right. So let's get this. I'm going to do a Moonology card here as well. Okay. That should do it. Your hard work is paying off New Moon and Capricorn. This whole message is like, okay, you've been working, working, working. Maybe some of you have been saying, there, there's just no payoff and I'm done. I'm going to switch careers entirely. This may not be exactly what you want to do because you've come this far. You just need to change your perspective. You just need to shift how you approach things. Again, this idea that your hard work is in fact paying off. And it is a new moon. And I'm recording this around a new moon. So, <laughs> so it is time to manifest something better for yourself. Sorry, there's a guy who just went left of center for a while and almost had a head-on collision. I feel like there's meaning in that. Uh, <laughs> don't drive drunk, for one. Uh, and also, it is kind of stay in your lane. <laughs> Sorry to read into everything that's happening around me, but I, eh, that was weird. There was absolutely no reason for him to do that, and there he was. So stay in your lane, but that doesn't mean that you can't try something new if you if that is what you're doing right now, okay? If you're wanting to try something new and you say, no, this is where I'm going, okay, then that's what's right for you. But I, what I'm talking about here is whether you're reviving something that you have done for a very long time or, you know, you're just trying a new thing, but you're trying it with the old approach. That's what we're talking about. Shift all that. Be open to new ideas, new ways of being. And this even comes down to, uh, you know, how do you, how do you kind of get through your day? How do you get through your day? You know, are you push, 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 push constantly? Or do you give yourself a little room, a little space? Are you taking breaks during the day? We're in such a society and a time where it's accomplish, accomplish, accomplish. I am like that too, guys. I like to be productive, okay? I know I'm having a good day when, you know, I, I've gotten quite a few things off my plate. And here we go. This is what happens when I'm out in public. Uh, I have a guy who's getting a little too damn close for comfort to my car. All right, he's fine. <laughs> okay, we have a sheer drop off here. Uh, so 
I think that's why he was pulling in a little close. Thank God I gave myself room in front of me. People, what are you going to do? Anyway, I think this is a very promising time, a very promising week. And especially for any of you out there, you know, you, you've studied, you've done the work, you know, you, you, you just need some payoff here. You need some stability in your life. I think there could be something coming into your realization, <laughs> right, let's put it that way, something you're realizing this week, well, okay, maybe I need to take a different approach around that or believe in myself more or, you know, stop pushing so hard. All right. So we're going to leave it there for this week, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.